We wanted you to meet the pack. <laughs> this is Ty. <laughs> this is Rusty. He's seven months old. And this is Nellie. She's a year and a half. We have a phrase now, be like Nellie. Because if we just rushed up to everybody and said, oh, someone to love, it would be just wonderful. But there's something very, very special about Rusty. Can you see, turn it, you see the heart on his side? Can you see the heart? <laughs> I get you to that point where you notice things. And I remember about three days ago, I noticed when we were walking Rusty, and he walked right up to this dandelion without even sniffing and just went. <laughs> <laughs> One second it was there, and the next second, gone. This is why we had to take him to the vet last month for what the vet called a. What was it? Digestive dis indiscretion. A digestive <laughs> indiscretion. <laughs> and so that, w that moment of many just stuck in my mind. And last night as we were leaving, Elaine here in the front row came up to me and she said, you know, you were talking about the web. Have you ever noticed how a dandelion is like the web? And it's all connected and it's beautiful. And I said, wow, see, snag, snag. And I said, that is really beautiful. I need to go home and look up dandelion. I quick got in my phone and get, look at the images of them. Well, I didn't have time to do that. But when I woke up this morning, I got my daily message from Sanaya. I went on to post it, and there in the email is an email from Elaine with subject line dandelion. Look at this photo. Oh. <laughs> Taken by Dave, right in the front row. Look at this, we talked about the web last night. Isn't that beautiful? And it's just like, we, we could draw a grid and if we did one, the matrix, it would have all these straight lines. But nature isn't like that. Nature flows and yet you can see the straightness in these lines. Look at that grid, that web. Nature is such a perfect representation of the underlying energetic reality. Here we have a dandelion. And look at this here. This is like, so now we've taken Dave's photo and we're doing a, a little bit of it. I, I talked about sacred geometry last night briefly. And it's all about how nature and the geometry, the shapes within nature mimic what I just said, are the underlying foundation of everything that is. And when you get into this, you start seeing fractals. And I know a good portion of you will be familiar with fractals, but what fractals are, they're, they're evidenced in nature where you see a term that's called self-similarity. The farther you dig into it, it repeats the same pattern. So you have the whole here, and then you narrow in and you see the smaller part, and then you can narrow in, again, I just drew a new little box there, and now you see that part right here really represents the wholeness here, and you could just keep going in and in and in to infinity. And if we did this with a spectron microscope, we'd go until there's no more seeming matter, but there's still something underlying that that we can't measure with our instruments, and that's what we're gonna spend the morning talking about. How cool is that? And it's really then, like we talked about last night, nested dolls, nested reality, realities within realities, and you're part of that. So when Rusty ate the dandelion, we could. <laughs> we could. Poor Ty, I'm out there this morning. We need a picture of Rusty eating a dandelion. <laughs> now Rusty has the whole universe within him. And so do we. Is that cool? Yes. <laughs> All right. All this happened after I got this morning's Daily Way message in meditation. And I would love to read that for you. Here it is, fresh from the guides this morning. Oneness makes no sense when all you see are twos and threes and us and we's. How can there only be one mind from which all of this that I perceive is arising? 
Do not the many waves on one ocean arise from the same body of water? Analogies are most helpful in trying to grasp that which slips through the fingers like that self-same water. Use your analogies to help you find understanding and then simply trust that the source of these attempts to describe your true nature already knows itself quite well. It does not arise to know itself better, but to know experience through you, to enjoy joining with apparent others for the fullness of this interaction. Rise and fall, dear wave. Create a joyful splash as your deepest essence does what it does best. And Nelly just showed us what we do best. You are so very loved. <laughs>